My name's Andy. I'm the CEO, colorist, and artist. I really do it all. I'm Damon Jones, artist and co-owner of Atomic Rotation Productions. Hey, I'm Gabe Worley. I'm a writer for Atomic Rotation. And we are Atomic Rotation. Yo, D. Yo. I think I got the concept for the first issue pretty much squared away. Finally? Finally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I started Damien Shadow about 10 years ago. It's evolved over the years, rewritten it a few times. It's finally come to the point where it's, it's ready to roll. Andy's actually been telling me about this project for a while now. He's been locked up in his lab, working on notes here and there. So I'm actually pretty excited to see how it came out. So uh, what do you got, man? Damien wakes up from this crazy dream. Uh, he's got a bunch of demons surrounding him. He doesn't know where he is. When I was assigned to put the first issue together, I had a real conflict with deciding how much to show. Sometimes you can show too much and the reader's already seen everything. Other times you don't show enough and it's just plain boring. I worked really hard to give this book a nice balance. So you're introducing the main um, antagonist in issue one? We're gonna touch on the main antagonist. Damon. So what, what, so what part of it is the magic part then? Sometimes he doesn't agree with the ideas that I'm presenting. I'm, I'm trying to figure if I think it needs to be a little bit more. It's not always a bad thing. It seems like I'm really challenging Andy because I'm really trying to get him to a place where he's really thought through everything that he's trying to get across. Usually when he's right, he's right. Sometimes he's right. Once we've debuted, we've debuted. Yeah, you're right about that. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I prefer that we took the time that we needed to debut in the right, the best way possible. Yeah, I, I hope I have, man. I mean, we won't know till it's released. Right. But the right. fact is, this is something I've been working on for over 10 years. Right, and we got to pull the trigger uh, at some point. I've rewritten it right. <laughs> right. dozens of times right, now. Right, so right. at some point, it's got to be right. And I think right now is the time. So I think we should just pull the trigger on it. When it comes to my character designs, I wanted to bring a sense of reality to everybody. I didn't want to go over the top and just give everybody superhero outfits. Damien's very simple for a reason, because he's a very analytical, simple, straightforward. He's to the point. With a bunch of the characters in Damien's Shadow, metal is a huge influence. There's a lot of combat boots, there's a lot of black, there's a lot of spikes. If you went to a metal show right now, you could see a guy that looked probably just like Damien. I've contacted all these different artists, I've received some samples, Going to check with the guys and uh, see what they think about the designs. All right, so this is the first dude that we have. This is uh, Gali. He's in Indonesia. The cool thing about Gali is that he is the full deal. Like, you'll get art, color, letters, all in one. Maybe even less a price than any of these other guys will do. The downfall is that the communication is a little weird. Choosing the right illustrator, really important. This is the person that paints the whole canvas of everything you're trying to get across. It's kind of like finding your soulmate. Like you really have to search and research and research some more. And you can't just jump into bed with anybody, theoretically, hypothetically. It's actually kind of like a band. Your lead guitarist, the key element to the sound of the whole album. Next guy, he's decent but uh, I just don't think he's up to the level, skill-wise. They need to be able to do what we can't already do. Exactly, exactly. He actually offered to do it for a really low price, All right. but it's not worth it. Like you said, we need somebody that can do what we can't, yeah. and I could do that. You really need to be a full package. You need to have anatomy, you need to have great backgrounds, you need to have your proportions down, and you need to be able to, most of all, tell a story with your art. So here we have uh, Les Goodman and Andre Fernandez. I believe they're both Canadians, actually. Uh, Andre, definitely a skilled artist. I just don't know if it meets what Damien's shadow is. Like, I know I want it gritty, but that's really gritty. Uh, Les, love the style, absolutely love it. Everything that I've seen from his portfolio has been good. He doesn't have so much finished book work, but he's skilled and he looks able. Um, he really liked a lot of the designs that I showed him already, so. I don't know, I, 
from what I'm looking at, I want to try less. I like the guy that we picked. He's hitting on all cylinders. The backgrounds are good, the anatomy's good, facial expressions are good. He really had a great overall style. He did it in a really nice, timely fashion. He was really good at communicating. And I feel like he understands the story better than anybody else. It actually fits the whole dark magic sort of motif that we have in the uh, story. The script's all ready to go, dialogue's good to go. He's just gonna digitally ink everything and hopefully we can get it all back within the time that we need to get it out. Yeah, dude, it's been a crazy ride. I remember working at the movie theater and you just had pictures just spread across the floor and I'm like, this dude is insane. But the art was cool, so I'm like, hey. That party that you invited me to, I don't remember a lot of it, <laughs> but I do remember the chemistry that we had. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, when, when, when I finally, I saw you guys work and we uh, realized we uh, might have something. Yeah. I remember carrying you out of that party. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. It's a good time. I don't remember that actually. Yeah, I don't, didn't expect you to. It's almost, it's so intimidating when you, if you really think about trying to enter an industry where it's so much competition. How can you possibly stand out? And the answer is, you never know what the public's gonna respond to. You have to do it because you love it. Even if we tried to quit, we couldn't quit. Even if we put it down and said, we're not gonna put this stuff out, we'd end up watching some movie and being inspired and getting the notepad out, putting down a whole new story just because that's what we do naturally. Here's to success and doing what we love for a living. All right, so it's been three months. We decided to add a couple more illustrators to the book. I was a little worried because we were dealing with multiple artists, but uh, let's see what it looks like. Oh, good timing. All right, so this is kind of what we're looking at, man. Oh, nice. Ooh. So I saw the proofs, and the proofs look solid. They're, they're perfect. Really happy with how everything came out. Looks really good. Damon and Gabe are happy with it. Fits together very well. Um, so I'm excited for this next step. It's ready to go to the printers. I went ahead and formatted it already, and then printing the book. Hey, dude, we're about to grab some lunch, man. You want anything? Yeah, man. I mean, like a bacon cheeseburger or something. All right, cool. Load this baby up. Ready to fire her up. See if she fires up like she's supposed to. You shouldn't have ate it that fast, man. I told you. You gotta eat, man. It was real tasty. Dude. <laughs> look at this, <laughs> man. Is this supposed to look like that? I, I don't know how that happened. I mean, what did you do? It was printing fine when I left, man. Things don't always go as planned. We can't what afford to. Stupid, man. We have a limited budget, and he just basically blew about, I don't know, maybe about 300 prints. You know, I hadn't used that press in a while, but he got to it before I did, and of course he had something to say about it. So, I mean, you, do you honestly understand how to print this next batch? Should we even try Dude, to print don't, it out? Don't ask me how to do my job. I know what I'm doing. Dude, apparently somebody needs to ask you, because look at, look at this You know, everybody makes mistakes. He just needs to learn to relax. I don't want to be an asshole or anything, but uh, we've got to fix this. I said it happens, man. Well, we gotta fix it. We'll fix it. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. All right. Fuck. Keep going, shit. Ah, you fucking miss. Another fine one you gotten us into, Ollie. What are you gonna do? Fire me? You're fucking fired. You can't fire me. Step into my office. Yeah. Now that we got it all printed out, uh, what we do is we take it over to this binder here and uh, collate all these books in order. Make sure all the pages are in order. We're just getting ready to uh, bind these up. What it's gonna do here, it's gonna fold all these pages, it's gonna put two saddle stitches on the side, and it's gonna trim the edges for me. And when these come out, they got this extra line on them. 
That way we got a nice fresh bleed. We'll take these books and we'll bring them over and we're gonna chop off this extra piece over here. We got a completed book. So the book's printed. It's good. Andy pulled it together. We got everything fixed. We got it in our hands. Printing is excellent. It just it feels so good to finally have it in my hands. When I first looked at that book, literally gave me goosebumps. And man, there's no better feeling. Comics, they're kind of like a religion to me. I'm reading something or I'm working on something 24 hours a day, pretty much. So I kind of feel like I don't really have any other choice but to go into this field. I've loved comics since I was a little kid. My dad taught me how to draw when I was really little, creating monsters and reading everything I could since I was little. This whole experience, it's, it's been challenging, it's been interesting. There are times where you get really discouraged and you wanna quit. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy, but you know what? It's, it's more than books to me. It, it's like family, like these dudes that I make these books with, they're my brothers, like this is like, this is my tribe. Comics like the X-Men are this mutant that keeps evolving. So I don't think we'll ever get to a point where people will be exhausted with these stories. They're the exploration of the human condition. There are many reasons that people gravitate towards comics. It could be, you know, action, it could be mystery, but deep down, really, I think everyone's just looking for the hero.